A while back, Four Points, now part of Marriott but formerly known as Four Points by Sheraton, launched a campaign promoting their breakfast for a buck offer. Essentially, customers in the American market could book a stay and by paying just one dollar more, enjoy breakfast. This campaign proved highly successful and uh, remains active today under Marriott, further confirming the appeal of the offer. Interestingly, this campaign may seem counterintuitive to the classic concept of an included breakfast or breakfast as part of a room package. However, there are several psychological principles and marketing tactics that can explain this choice. So let's examine a few and let's dig in. The first principle is the perception of value. Now, the concept of free is a double-edged sword. On one hand, everyone loves a freebie. It attracts attention and it can be a powerful incentive. However, there's an hidden side to this, which is when something is offered without any cost, its perceived value can often diminish in the eyes of the potential customer. Now, let's consider the opposite scenario. So imagine you are being charged uh, even if it's just a symbolic amount, like a dollar. Now, this small transaction changes the dynamics. Suddenly, what you're receiving isn't just another complimentary item, it's something you have invested in, albeit minimally. Now, by introducing a nominal fee, you send a message that the product or service has inherent value. It's not just another throwaway freebie, it's worth something. And when consumers pay, even if it's just a fraction of their actual cost, they often attribute more value to it. After all, if you have parted with your hard earned money, even just a bit, wouldn't you naturally feel that what you are getting in return holds some significance? Principle number two, which is the contrast effect. In the vaster realm of behavioral economics, the contrast effect plays a pivotal role in shaping consumer decisions. The principle is quite simple, yet profound. Our perception of something is often kind of influenced by its contrast with another item. So for instance, if you were to see a moderately priced item immediately after seeing a very expensive one, you'd likely perceive the former as more affordable, even if it's not necessarily cheap. Now let's apply this to the hotel industry. Hotels offer a myriad of services, from luxurious spa treatments to gourmet dining experiences and so on and so forth. Now, these services, often perceived as high-end, set a certain expectations of cost in the minds of the guests. When just exposed with an offer like breakfast for just a dollar, the contrast is stark, and suddenly, this breakfast feels like an incredible deal, even if other services come at a premium. The brilliance of this strategy lies in its ability to make a guest feel like they're getting exceptional value, all thanks to the power of contrast. Concept number three, psychological barrier. In the intricate dance of consumer behavior, psychological barriers often dictate the steps. A price, even a symbolic one, can serve as a gatekeeper, sort of. It's not about excluding, but rather about filtering. So by charging a nominal fee, hotels subtly set a threshold. This threshold differentiates between those who are merely browsing and those who are genuinely interested. Now, in the context of hotels, this uh, small fee ensures that, that those who opt for the breakfast are those who truly value. It's a delicate way of enhancing the overall guest experience, ensuring that services meet the expectations of a more discerning clientele. Principle number four, minimization of losses. Now, efficient resources management is a cornerstone of successful business, especially in industries like hospitality, where margin can be tight at times. Let's make an example. So imagine running a hotel hosting 100 guests per night. If all of them have booked a rate inclusive of breakfast, the hotel faces a sort of challenge. Now, how to determine the actual number of guests genuinely interested in the morning meal. Preparing a buffet or continental breakfast to cater to everyone can lead to significant wastage and increased costs. Now, let's counterpart the strategy of charging a symbolic fee, like $1 for breakfast. While this fee might seem negligible to those truly desiring a morning meal, 
it can act as a subtle deterrent for guests who might usually skip it. This small barrier allows hotels to better gauge the actual demand for breakfast, leading to more accurate preparation and reduce wastage. Now, the result, of course, is decreased cost and improved expense management, all while ensuring guests who truly value breakfast experience are catered to. Principle number five is differentiation. Differentiation should be the norm. Unfortunately, it's more often the exception. With countless businesses offering similar services, standing out becomes quite paramount. So consider the hotel industry with so many establishments providing complimentary breakfasts. How does one hotel make its mark? And so by introducing a unique pricing strategy, such as charging a nominal fee for breakfast, the hotel can set itself apart. And this not only sparks uh, curiosity among potential guests, but also positions the hotel as an innovator, as a brand willing to challenge the status quo. It's not merely the price about the breakfast, uh, it's about creating a distinct brand identity in a sea of uh, sameness. Such strategies can lead to increased brand recall, the loyalty, and ultimately a stronger market value. Principle number six, uh, revenue and profit opportunity. Consider the traditional hotel approach. Hotel room priced at $100 with an additional charge of $20 for breakfast. These bring the total cost to $120. Now, Jack Juxtapose this with a strategy where the room is priced $120, but with a promotional offer of breakfast for just $1. So at face value, the difference between the two strategies is a mere dollar, right? However, the dynamics change completely because the room price itself heavily impacts the perceived value of your hotel in the eyes and in the mind of your prospective customer. The OTAs are a master at uh, leveling the playing field in terms of perceived value. Whether it's a budget-friendly two-star hotel or a luxurious five-star property, on these platforms at the OTAs, they are presented with minimal differentiation. The unique branding and communication that the hotel might pride itself are uh, often deluded, to say the least. In such scenario, potential customers uh, devoid of tangible differentiators uh, lean heavily on price as an indicator of value. And so differently put, a higher price can offer translate to a higher perceived value. And conversely, a price perceived as too low might inadvertently diminish the hotel's value in the eyes of potential guests. Given this, bundling becomes a strategic move. Instead of a separate charge for the room and breakfast, combining them into a single package of $120, I think it was, while still leveraging the allure of $1 breakfast promotion, can significantly elevate the perceived value. It's not about the actual cost, it's about crafting a pricing narrative that resonates with potential guests and making them feel like they are really getting some value. Principle number seven, anchoring effect. Now, the human mind is a fascinating entity to say the least, often influenced by subtle cues and initial impressions. And one such psychological phenomenon is the anchoring effect. So at its core, anchoring effect refers to our tendency to rely heavily on the first piece of information we encounter when making decisions. So the initial information or anchor can significantly influence subsequent judgments and perception. And in the context of the hotel industry, this can be strategically leveraged. So imagine a guest first seeing a room's price, setting their expectation, and when they later encounter the nominal fee for breakfast, this cost seems trivial in comparison, enhancing its perceived value. And so here the brilliant lies in the sequence. So by presenting the room rate first, the hotel sets a higher anchor making everything that follows seem more affordable and anyway valuable. It's a masterful play on perception, guiding guests to view offers in a light most favorable to the hotels, all while ensuring that they feel they are receiving excellent value. Principle number eight is the sense of control and reduce the perception of a trap in contrast. Now, trust and transparency are a cornerstone in the relationship between businesses and their customers. In many industries, especially hospitality, there's a delicate balance to strike between offering deals and ensuring customers don't feel there's a catch or a trap. Now, by charging a symbolic fee for a service, business, especially hotel business, can alleviate any underlying suspicions. It's a clear, straightforward transaction, devoid of any hidden implications. Now, this approach gives customers a feeling of control over their choices. They are not being lured into a free offer only to discover caveats later. Instead, they're making an informed decision 
fully aware of the cost involved. In essence, it's about fostering a feeling, a sense of empowerment among, among guests, among customers. By being transparent, total businesses can build trust, of course, ensuring a positive and lasting relationship. And that is it for today's video. Now, this uh, Breakfast for a Buck campaign, uh, though seemingly simple, is uh, a testament to the power of strategic thinking, leveraging a deeper rooted psychological principle to craft uh, an empowering, a compelling offer. It's not about the tangible offering because as we have seen, there is nothing more to add to it, but the stories that we tell and the perceptions that we shape. And so by delving into these intricacies of value perception, contrast effect, psychological principle and barriers and more, hotel marketers can create experiences that, that resonate more and deeply with their audience. And as we have seen, even in past videos, it's often the counterintuitive strategies that stand out the most, the challenging the status quo and redefining the norm. That's really it for today. I'll see you in the next video.